Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. It is always so nice when you get a fresh set of lashes. Okay, girl. What is going on, everyone? It's your girl, Chloe Yasmin, back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, your girl is going to be making a self-care motivation video. So, it is nighttime. Y'all know I never really film at nighttime, but I found myself recently kind of lacking my little body care motivation. So, once I got it back, I said, hold on. I know I'm not the only person that lacks taking care of themselves sometimes. Like, it can be embarrassing to say, also do not mind my voice my allergies are trying to act up so we're just gonna go ahead and tolerate it okay but i'm not gonna let it ruin my night or my day well i haven't let it ruin my day anyway y'all what was i saying when i got my motivation back i was like i know that i'm not the only one that lacks body care motivation at times but what really motivates me is watching other body care hmm? is watching other body care or self-care videos, even if they're mines. Have y'all ever watched somebody on YouTube clean their body, do their little shower routine or whatever, and you feel dirty after watching it because you're like, wow, they're really clean right now and I'm just, you know? I've heard the opposite. I've heard people say that they feel clean when they watch people clean their body, but for me, it makes me feel dirty because I want to be clean like that. I'm rambling, y'all. I always catch myself rambling. But since I got my motivation back, I want to go ahead and motivate my sisters to go ahead and get your body care motivation started again. If you haven't lost it, good. You can still go ahead and watch this video and enjoy, you know, the pampering. But if you have, go ahead and watch this full video, and I'm hoping that it motivates you guys to go ahead and get up and take care of your body. You don't have to have some super extravagant routine. It's just cleansing yourself taking care of your skin and enjoying it enjoying it is like the part that i want people to get like enjoy it things don't have to be so traditional things don't have to be so set in order and rules do your thing take care of your body how you know you should but it's all about doing it and enjoying it as well enjoy taking care of yourself anyways with that being said let's go ahead and hop up in the shower and get this motivating shower started okay all right sis let's go ahead and hop right into tonight's body care motivation so first of all let me just go ahead and point out that i am not the best at voiceovers i know that i say that every single time i do a voiceover but i'm really not so bear with me my voice is still a little bit you know congested type sounding because my allergies are still going crazy but let's keep it moving so tonight my hair was just super dry and super tangled and in need for some love i have been neglecting it a little bit oh look at my voice already getting stuffed up <sighs> okay I have been neglecting it a little bit lately and I feel so bad about it so tonight I'm gonna go ahead and show it some love and bring my curls back to life so my shampoo of choice is going to be the Olaplex bond maintenance shampoo this retails for about $28 I bought mine at Sephora um, this is actually my second or third bottle of it I love 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 this shampoo when it went viral though and I first started to use it I was like girl y'all are over exaggerating this stuff is not that serious it is regular shampoo it's just super thick with no scent basically but then I realized over time it was actually starting to work so if you ever feel like you want to go ahead and try out this shampoo make sure you're consistent with it and give it time in order to see the results that everybody else talks about but yes this shampoo is honestly amazing when I am consistent with it I see that my curls are so much more defined my hair is super moisturized and my hair has that super shiny healthy look to it but I love this shampoo it lathers very 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 well a little bit goes a long way and it's definitely worth the hype since I don't wash my hair very often when I do wash it I spend a lot of time washing my hair and really focusing on my scalp and getting that hair super clean because I do not like a bad smelling scalp or like bad smelling hair period so I just make sure that I really give it a lot of time with editing a lot of things have to be cut out but I always make sure that I spend a lot of time especially on my scalp
Now that my hair is fully shampooed, fresh, and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into my conditioning process. I will be using the matching Olaplex Bond Maintenance Conditioner tonight, and honestly, this seriously helped with my detangling process. Like I said, my hair is extremely tangled, and I seriously needed some assistance. I mean, I needed so much assistance to the point where you guys will see me use a wide tooth comb. Y'all know, I always finger detangle my hair, but tonight was one of those nights that I just was like so overwhelmed with all these tangles and gnats that I was like screw it we're pulling out the wide tooth comb we're gonna go ahead and put heck a conditioner in and we're just gonna put it to work all right My hair is now ready for a mask. Yes, ma'am, because like I said, I have to show my hair some love tonight. But when I really, really wanna show my hair some love, I go ahead and put in this pattern treatment mask. I bought mine from Ulta, and when I tell you guys, I will never regret buying this. This is one of the best hair masks I have ever had for my hair. It is the all around hair mask. Like everything that I look for in a hair mask, this has. First of all, the consistency is beautiful. It's like a jelly custard, so the slip is amazing. It also helps to detangle your hair if you want it to. I usually don't use it for that, but it definitely will. It moisturizes your hair, brings your curls back to life if you do have curls. It makes your hair smell absolutely amazing. And it just gives you that overall healthy look to your hair. I love this mask so much and I am literally obsessed. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, girl, enough of hair care. Let's hop into some body care. Yes, ma'am. So tonight I actually went into my hygiene closet and I found some new exfoliating gloves and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I have to use them. And when I tell y'all, I forgot why I was so obsessed with these. I'm going to go ahead and pair these with my Dove Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash, my top fave body wash by Dove, hands down. But Back to the exfoliating gloves. These are a two in one type of thing. They deeply exfoliate you as well as deeply cleaning you. They are so amazing. So if you're trying to simplify your routine, this is a great step towards that because it's a two in one. You exfoliate and you clean your body, okay? And when I tell y'all I had to have these dang exfoliating gloves in Miami because when it's super hot outside, the only thing that works to cleanse my body for all day freshness is exfoliating washcloths or exfoliating gloves because they deeply cleanse my armpits and all those places that do produce more odors than other. But as far as the Dove body wash, it is definitely my fave um, body wash by Dove. It has a super strong scent and it does not dry out the skin but it also doesn't add too much moisture. It gives an amazing great lather and the scent actually does stick to your skin. Like I put Jordan onto this body wash and it is his absolute favorite body wash. Like he is so obsessed. It smells so good and it works amazing. Thank you. 
Now that that first cleanse and also our exfoliation is out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and go in with our second cleanse with the same exact body wash, just with our Holy Grail washcloth. If you watched my recent no budget um, shopping video with the guys, I had Jordan and my little brother with me. Um, and I bought this Harry's Foaming Shave Gel in that video. Um, it retails for about $6.29. I personally feel like they are overcharging for this and my little brother was honestly kind of right. Don't get me wrong, it is definitely a good shave gel, but it's kind of mediocre and it's nothing special. I could get something so much cheaper for like the same kind of formula and the same kind of feel. This was nothing special. But I do have to say that I did enjoy how thick it was and how it did provide a cushion between my skin and the razor if you know what I mean funny story actually so when I used to tan at tanning salons I went in one morning and I was talking to one of the employees about how like the shaving oh no she was telling me about how she cannot stand shaving her legs and just how long it takes for like the whole shower process and I'm like girl I understand that's why I shave like every three four days because I just can't keep up with it and there was a lady in one of the rooms um getting ready to go into her tanning bed and she like yelled and was like you guys are just young you're just like my daughter's age you guys are just young when you get older you will shave every single day. It just becomes a part of your routine. And I'm like, I have to disagree, but hey, I'm so glad that you find the motivation to shave your legs every single day. She was like, it just becomes a part of your routine if you do it every single day. I'm like, girl, I can't, I can't. But let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think that when we get older, we're gonna shave every single day? Or do you think that it'll just stay the same? I probably would shave my legs though every single day if I was like a stay at home wife that had nothing to do but like blow money. We had like a big mansion, super huge shower, like nothing else to do shoot might as well go ahead and do that but anyway y'all know i take my foot care so serious um i had actually used my pumice stone um on a previous night so i did not need to do that tonight but i did still go ahead and scrub my feet up with my scrub brush i always have these up on my amazon storefront i love these so much they have a handle on them so you can control where you're cleaning and everything they work so well i just scrub my feet up baby because i do not like odor anywhere on my body I have extremely sensitive underarms and I don't even know why, but I'm starting to realize that it's actually more common than I think. So if you do have sensitive underarms and you struggle with that, I seriously suggest being careful with what razor you use. I like to use the Gillette Venus Pubic Hair and Skin Razor and I always like to use it um, with my Gillette Venus 2-in-1 Cleanser and Shave Gel as well, only because they work so well together and I have no more sensitivity on my underarms with that routine. So if you have sensitive skin anywhere, I seriously suggest using this razor for any of your sensitive areas. It is now time for me to go ahead and take that headband off, which I use to block the water from touching my face. It is time to go ahead and take that off and start rinsing out that beautiful hair mask that literally leaves my hair smelling amazing and leaves my hair super silk key like i'm telling y'all i know i just said that so ugly but it really does leave my hair so silky i know i know it may sound like i'm repeating myself when it comes down to this certain step but i will always tell my ladies the last thing that you do in the shower is cleanse your lady bits because all throughout the shower you're cleansing your body you're washing your face you're washing your hair all that residue and soap travels downstairs and it can irritate you and knock off your ph balance so the last thing you want to do is cleanse your lady bit so that you wash off any extra soap or anything that could possibly be down there now i'm fresh out of the shower feeling so relaxed and amazing about to go ahead and watch my little tv shows and get moisturized so on my recent no budget video i also went ahead and bought this dr teal's body lotion um it's like a sleep lotion i have to be honest i was really excited to go ahead and try this and i was kind of let down 
Y'all know I'm big on products actually having a scent that I can smell. This lotion had the most faint smell in the whole entire universe. You could literally not even smell it at all if you weren't trying to smell it. Like literally, you might as well go ahead and label it fragrance free at this point. It was not moisturizing. It was so watery. I don't even know why they even labeled this a sleep lotion because I can promise you it didn't do nothing for me baby. I can promise you that all for it. About the only thing that I liked about this lotion in the moment was that on freshly shaved and exfoliated skin, super thin, watery, cold lotions feel really nice because it kind of felt like an aloe vera gel. So it was really cooling and nice, but it did not do what it was supposed to do. Okay. Anyway, now that I am done moisturizing my body so called, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my fave deodorant at the moment, which is the Dove Advanced Care Caring Coconut. This is a strong deodorant, y'all. I know I use a lot, like 10 swipes each underarm, but it smells so strong and beautiful, and it mixed so well with this Dylan Blue Versace perfume. Like, they went together so well. I'm like, ooh, I got me a new little combo. I'm just going to go ahead and spray my body up so I can go ahead and smell good for bed. And yes, I do put perfume on before I go to bed because I love to smell myself all throughout the night. I'm going to go ahead, hop on this laptop, get some work done. I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all in the mighty, powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye.